Hi, so in this video, we're going to talk about enums. So uh, quite often, we want to represent a certain type of data that is um, um, they're a small group of constant values. So for example, we want to we might want to represent the months in a year, right? So in a, in a year, they're always the same 12 months. Or let's say we want to represent the car suits, right, um, which are there are always four of them, diamond, clubs, uh, hearts, and spades. So how do we um, represent them? There are a number of choices. So for example, we can use numbers. So if we want to represent the month, then we can say, you know, January is the number one, February is number two, so on and so forth. Or we can represent them using strings, right? Let's say, you know, January can be literally the string January and February the string February so on right or sometimes we might actually want to do both right sometimes we want uh, the, the the months as numbers and sometimes we want to have the whole full name right so let's see one way we can do this and we're going to use the car suit as an example is that uh, uh, we can define the suit as a um, class so and then each member of the suit can be a class constant okay now a uh, couple important things about each members of this class suit that is uh, first is that um, each of these values right diamond clubs and heart and spade the number that represent them they should be unique right uh, we don't because we don't want to, you know, use the same thing. Number one to represent all of them, then we cannot distinguish a club from a diamond, for example. And the second thing is that usually the number that we want to use to uh, represent the, each of the members, they usually starts at one, not zero. And the reason for that is zero is actually have a very special meaning that is different from the rest of the numbers. Zero. If um, evaluated as a um, boolean, it means false, whereas the rest of the numbers are true. So we really don't want, you know, diamond to be different in that sense from the rest of the members. Now, sometimes that is actually useful. That um, so it all kind of depends on the use case. But usually, um, it we start at one. Okay. So uh, having to having. Um, Define it this way, we can access each of the members of the uh, of this uh, suit as you know suit dot diamond, right? Now, so let's say for example, if we want to print out suit dot diamond, well, what it's going to be is that when we run it, well, it's going to print out one, which is you know kind of. I mean, it makes sense on one hand because, well, it is the integer one. However, if you just look at one, it's really not very meaningful, right? I mean, how do I, unless I look at the code, I can't really associate the number one with a um, uh, the suit diamond, right? So not only that, uh, it has uh it is it's uh it's missing a few other features such as okay what if we if we want to get a list of all the members of the suit well it's it's kind of hard we can probably write code to do it but you know um it's 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 not there right now and also um there can be other things that we want is you know we want to prevent let's say for example someone assignment so, someone assigned uh from assigning you know diamond to a different value Right or this, God forbid, you know, uh, same value as as another member. It's things like that. So um, we really could could use many of these other features that are missing right now. So as a matter of fact, that we actually want to represent data that is a finite group of constant values so often that uh, Python as well as most pro other programming languages actually has some sort of standard support for it. So in Python, it is in what's um, called an enum uh, module. So in order to define the uh, suit as a um, 
enum uh, the first thing we have to do is that we import from the enum module the enum class and then the next thing to uh, we do is uh, we make we still define su as a class but in this case we're going to put it um, make it inherit from the enum class that we just imported now we haven't talked about inheritance yet we'll talk about inheritance later but for now we can bas just basically say that um, suit is a type of enum and also inheriting from enum kind of greatly expanded the capability of suit so the first thing we're going to notice uh, you know uh, when we run this code with just the inheritance added is that when we print it instead of printing the number one we actually now print the string suit.diamond which you know it's a lot more meaningful than the number one right we can tell immediately it's a diamond suit all right and well, that's that and the next thing uh, we can do is that now the enum the suit enum can be um, loop over just like a list so we can say for each of the suit inside suit we can print it out so if we do that we get all of the suits that are defined here diamond club hard spade right now very convenient um, sometimes so maybe the next thing we can do is we actually try to reassign uh, one of the members to a different value which we said was undesirable right because um, enums each of the members are supposed to be um, uh, constant so but if we try to do this and we run this and now we are actually prevented from doing that which is great so another very nice um, capability we have now is that each of the members now has a dot name attribute and a dot value attribute which is the uh, string representation of the of the suit member or the enum member and an integer um, representation of the enum member so just let me run it um, so yeah the dot name is just diamond right just the name of the member uh, w without the suit dot in front right um, and then the value in this case for diamond it is one which is the integer value for the enum member okay so now that I've used uh, show you the basic usage of um, the enum suit uh, I'd like to try this on your own and then so what I would like you to do is uh, so we saw the name and the value attribute right so can you print out the name and value attribute for all the members so pause the video give this a try so assuming you have taken the time to do this um, this is how I would do it it's just for all the for each of the suit in the suit enum I'll just print out the dot name and the dot value so when I run this and that's that's that diamond equal to one club equal to two and so on Right, so we see that we can get an integer representation of an enum member by using the dot value uh, attribute. Now, we can do it the other way around, that from an integer value, such as a 1, we can kind of convert it back, quote unquote, convert it back to a member of the enum. So for 1, we would expect, uh, using the syntax, you know, suit of 1, we should expect to get diamond back. So let's see if we actually get that. So there, the integer one is map when it maps back to the suit is actually suit diamond. So that's good. And very similarly, if now we are given a string literal that looks like one of the enum members, such as diamond we should expect to be able to convert that string literal back into a member of the enum as well now the syntax is a little different so instead of you know suit uh, parentheses as in the previous case if we want to convert a string back to a enum member then we use the square bracket okay so if we run this 
um, there. So the string diamond max vector is a uh, enum member in the suit, and that would be suit dot diamond as we would expect it to be. So an interesting question here is that what if um, the integer value or the string value cannot be uh, converted back to a valid enum members? What happens? And I'll leave that as an exercise for you.